Hey, welcome back, I'm Chantastic, and today is the last day of our little code advent React holiday. If you haven't gotten a chance, check out react.holiday and go through all of the email lessons individually one by one for 25 days. Today on the last day, I just wanna show you how to send it, how to deploy your app, whatever you've built, whatever you plan on building, how you can put it on the internet and start getting some views or customers or whatever it is that you're after. Because all of these features are so new, the easiest place to deploy an app with zero configuration is going to be Vercel. At some point, you know, Netlify or Render are going to come along and incorporate all of these features and make it super easy to deploy a next app directory app. Until then, Vercel is your best bet. So let's dive in and do it right now. Okay, let's deploy a next app to Vercel as fast as we possibly can. Copy this to generate a new next app. You may have one, so you can skip this step if you want. Call it deploy next app. TypeScript, no. Yes, Lint, yes. CD into that new directory. I really like to use hub for creating repos, so we'll use gh repo create. Want to push an existing local repository. This directory, we'll call it deploy next app. Description, don't worry about it. Public, yes. Add remote, yes. What should the new repository be called? Origin, yes. Do you like to push commits? Yes. There we go. Now we can run gh repo view. We have our project here. Now let's open up Vercel. If you've logged in with GitHub before, then you should be able to do it just as easily as I have. If not, just create an account with GitHub or log in with GitHub and you should be able to do all this. So we're going to add a new project. We're going to import a Git repository from my GitHub. Now I don't see the project that I have here. So we need to configure the GitHub app. I'm going to use my account, finish logging in, and I usually add one repo at a time. So you can add all repositories if you wanna make this thing super easy, but I'm gonna find that deploy project and then add it here. Now this is in kind of my cleared list of repos that can be integrated with Vercel. So we'll save that and go. So our list updates, I had already searched for deploy, so it's showing up there under that search, but we can find it here, deploy next app. And we have all of this. So it's all pre-configured for us. We don't have to set anything up. If you have built an app already and wanna add environmental variables, environment variables, you can do that. Um, all of this is ready to go though. You don't have to touch any of this. And I'll prove that by pressing this button now. It's actually funny that I said now because now is what the command for this type of thing used to be called uh, when Vercel was Zite. All right, we get this cool confetti. Congratulations, we have this all deployed. It was really fast. Got everything. Uh, we can set up a custom domain if we want. Uh, instant previews are pretty cool. Let's take a look at that. So if I hit continue to dash, we can view the Git repository or we can hit visit. Um, and there we go. This is our app running at this custom domain that we have, or not a custom domain, one that Vercel set up for us, but we can set up a custom domain if we want. Uh, let's go back and I'm gonna go to another project uh, real quick. So if I go here, I go to my projects. The repository that I've been working in is this next Pokedex um, repository. And I just wanna show you around a little bit. So I have some deployments and we can go to literally any stage of this uh, project that I have deployed. So every time I do a commit or a pull request or something like that, uh, we can see those uh, here. And you can see each stage. So this is when I added redirects or when I moved the sidebar, uh, the sidebar uh, list from uh, layout to page, uh, extracted utilities into a Pokemon module. Uh, I can look at the GitHub commit right there. Pretty cool. And also uh, Vercel actually comments on these with a link to actually view this app in that current state, which is super cool. So big fan of this, super well integrated. Hey, thanks for hanging out on these last 25 days of React Holiday as we've explored the next 13 beta app directory. There have been so many great questions, particularly around auth and some different library integrations and how we can start taking advantage of these new features with some of the old tools. I hope to make some new videos in January regarding some of your questions. If you want updates, feel free to follow me on Twitter or subscribe to react.holiday. If you don't want all 25 emails, I totally understand because you probably watch the YouTube videos. So just reply and be like, hey, I, I, I wanna know about this next thing, but I don't want all these emails and I'll get you out of them. So that's it, you're awesome. However you celebrate this holiday season, I hope you have a wonderful holiday and I'll see you in the new year, bye.